Okay, so uh, today it's time for the Sisu Bravado. It's a huge uh, yeah, watch. Uh, it's got a sapphire crystal and an uh, automatic movement. It's a ETA2824. Uh, it's way too big for my uh, wrist, but I'll show you why it's good anyway, why I do like it and why I don't. All right, enjoy, bye. Okay, so um, this is the box that you get when you uh, buy uh, Sisu. I guess it's uh, the same for all of their uh, watches. Um, so let me show you what's inside. So you have this, uh, yeah, this uh, metallic box which is uh, really really heavy it's uh, it seems to be uh, well uh, constructed there is some uh, yeah some coordinates on it should google it to see where it is i don't know you can see the box and it's got the sisu written on it uh, some coordinates here as well and their uh, their website and the top with uh, the Sisu logo and Sisu written on it. Okay, so let's open the box. You see there is a kind of a big, I don't know, handle. It's all very heavy, very thick metal. There you go, here you have uh, the watch. You see the watch is uh, presented in this uh, box. Like this, it's a very sturdy uh, foam, so it, it's, it's actually a real well made uh, uh, box. Maybe too well made because I guess it's pretty expensive. Box like this, and then up, you have the, the watch. So let me put this aside, Let's see if I can close it properly. Up, it's over there. And then let's have a look at uh, the watch. So the, the first thing you'll probably notice on uh, the watch is that it's uh, huge. It's uh, very, very big. If I can... Uh, 55 millimeters. So it's really, really, really big. And actually the, uh, the company they made uh, those watches, the idea was uh, to have uh, watches uh, that will suit uh, American football players or uh, uh, what, what else? Uh, or basketball players. You know, they, they they are like huge guys with arms like this, and for them the watch would look like a, like a normal watch on, on a normal person, but because they they have huge arms, so that's the idea of uh, the um, uh, the company. Um, I took my scale just to show you if it works how heavy it is so the watch sized to my wrist weighs 392 grams and with all the the links that I removed what is that 483 grams so that's the to let you know how, how heavy it is, eh? so it's pretty heavy. Um, except from that, you can see the watch is uh, actually well uh, made. It's a uh, pretty decent uh, quality for uh, for the watch, especially because it's 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 a lot of uh, uh, surfaces they have to uh, to work on. Eh? So you can see the the, the size of the uh, the case. It's not completely round uh, it's uh, one two three four five six seven. it's a uh, uh, octagon so uh, it, it looks kind of uh, rough and tough uh, which is really nice and um, on the dial you'll see there is uh, some uh, like this uh, they, they, they call it uh, open heart or uh, whatever you can see a little part of uh, of the movement on the on the dial 
there is also a date uh, displayed on uh, on the watch, and then you have the the big uh, hands uh, that are uh, looms. I'll try to make uh, uh, a loom shot uh, afterwards. Pretty good. Um, uh, and then you have uh, one, four, seven, and ten numbers are oversized, uh, which yeah, it gives a certain look to the to the watch. You'll notice as well that the crown is uh, at the ten o'clock uh, position, and the reason why they did it is because the watch is already so big. If you would put the crown here uh, when you wear it, and and you would move your wrist, it, it would poke into your wrist or your hand. So that's why they uh, moved the the crown uh, over there. The movement is uh, it's an ETA 2824 and you can see I'll try to make it up close so there is the the movement it looks really really small eh? and uh, yeah it's because the the case the watch is so big that the movement looks really really tiny but actually it's, it's a normal sized uh, movement and, um, and now it started uh, running um, so yeah it got uh, 25 jewels they have uh, done some uh, decoration on the on the rotor there is the the red line you can see it and there is some uh, sisu uh, no, it's not engraved it's printed on the on the rotor uh, and the red line you can find it back here in the in the crown, I don't know if it will focus. Let me see. Nah, it's not so clear, but uh, there is an uh, S from Sisu, and there is uh, the red line uh, on the on the crown. So overall, yeah, the um, the watch seems uh, very nice. You have this. Uh, uh, brushed uh, surfaces uh, on the watch. You have uh, some. Uh, they, they gave some extra uh, dimension to the to the case by uh, well. There is the name Sisu uh, engraved on uh, on one side, and then there is also this kind of uh, this uh, uh, ring on uh, around the the watch. It doesn't move, but. Uh, yeah, it gives some extra dimension to the to the watch because I can imagine if you only have a round case that it would look very yeah it would look even bigger and uh, so it, it it breaks a little bit uh, the uh, the shape of the of the case huh? uh, the crown is a screw down crown I went swimming already with uh, the watch so. It's uh, waterproof for uh, 100 meters. Yeah, it's uh, uh, you can hand wind it, and and for those who like that, it's uh, hackable. I never use that, but I know for a lot of people, it's uh, it's very important. Um, the I, I have the watch now for about uh, three years, I guess. Maybe a little bit more, maybe four, and I never had uh, any problems with it. The only thing that happened once is that the mechanism inside the the, the clasp failed, and uh, there are some. Uh, uh, you see, that's the the old one I have, and basically inside the the, the clasp you have some uh, small springs, and they broke or, or they, they, they were misplaced uh, actually it's because my uh, daughter dropped the, wa the watch once and after that it didn't close anymore so I, uh, I sent a mail to uh, Sisu and I asked them uh, if I could uh, uh, you know I, I dismantled it, I showed them uh, which pieces were broken I asked them if I could uh, buy them uh, back and uh, they were very friendly because they just sent me the whole uh, so this is the old one, but they, they, they sent me basically the whole uh, folding glass uh, for free. So uh, that's... Uh, uh, and now it's... I uh, know, you see? Seems like it's closing, but actually when you 
as soon as you touch it, it opens. So they send it to me free of charge, which is really nice, well done. Uh, so yeah, I can say the service at uh, Sisu is uh, really nice. Uh, I noticed they have uh, several other uh, models right now. So again, this is the uh, Bravado Automatic. And, uh, but they have, uh, I think now also, a little bit smaller watches uh, as well. So this, it's, it's still a company that uh, exists, which is good. And uh, yeah, so let me show you what the watch looks like on my wrist. So just for your info, this is a normal sized uh, watch. It's my uh, Unimatic. Put it on a nice leather strap now. But uh, this is uh, how a watch should look like. Let me show you the Bravado. Yes, this is how it feels when I'm uh, wearing the uh Sisu Bravado. This is I'm, I'm I'm walking around with this clock on my wrist and uh that's how I feel when I uh, uh when I walk around with it so it's actually for me it's way too big. I almost uh, never wear it and um yeah it's also uh, uh even if it's a watch eh, it's still very hot to wear it very warm on the wrist because it's so big and the only time I manage to uh, wear it, it's uh, when I, I, I'm dressed in uh, you know, a training, uh, like a sports gear with a, with a hoodie or something. Then it's okay, in, uh, in my opinion, to wear it. But except from that, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's way too, uh, too big eh, for, uh, for me. And I have uh, very small uh, wrists. So... Uh, uh, let me show you now in real. So you see, it's well. It's a good thing that the the actual watch is just not uh, bigger than my uh, uh, my my wrist, but. Um, yeah, it's it's very big, yeah. So obviously I don't wear it for work, uh, but yeah, sometimes in the weekend. And even even though it is big and it is hot, when it's a normal, not too warm day, it is very comfortable. So you can see that the uh, links they wrap around your uh, wrist. So even though if if it's big uh, and heavy. It's still comfortable, eh? so the first few hours you will definitely feel that you're wearing a, a huge uh, watch. But after a couple of hours you don't feel the, the weight anymore and the bracelet is very comfortable. So that's actually okay, but still eh, it looks uh, very big, especially now with the trend to go to uh, smaller uh, watches again. Uh, yeah. So right, I hope I didn't forget anything about the, the watch. If you do have some other questions about it, let me know. And uh, yeah, okay, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.